In this video, we're going to be creating aged wallpaper. Stay tuned. Trench Brady here from 3D Live Design. We talk 3D for theater, exhibits, events, meetings, and all things experiential. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. All links mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. The work in this episode is based on the previous episode, so please see that before proceeding. When creating aged wallpaper for a 3D environment, one of the key factors in making it believable is having the aging not appear to repeat. In order to do this, we're going to create a larger section of wallpaper so the repeat isn't so obvious. We'll be starting with the repeating wallpaper section we created in the last episode. Open the image in your imaging program. In this case, I'm using Corel Photo Paint. Make an object of the image from the background. Note the image size. Now make the paper three times as large in width and height. In this case, the original image was 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. So I'm going to increase the paper to 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels, placing the image in the center. Duplicate the image twice, moving one copy 1000 pixels to the left and the other 1000 pixels to the right. Select all three images and duplicate again, moving 1000 pixels above and 1000 pixels below the original. Now combine all these nine images together. Now you need to add the aging. You can use a seamless repeat texture file to do this. I recommend SketchUp Texture Club. They're a great resource for seamless textures from natural materials like grass and marble to wallpaper and architecture. After searching for dirt, I found Concrete Bare Dirty Texture 01439. Download it and open it as a new image in your photo software. Take the dirt image and rescale it to the same size as the combined wallpaper image. In this case, make it 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Copy it and place it on its own layer on top of the wallpaper. Because the wallpaper image was seamless, layering another seamless image the same size on top will result in the new image being still seamless. Adjust the color balance, contrast, transparency, etc. until you get the desired effect. For an extra detail, I'm going to add a visible seam to the wallpaper. I created an image that I'm going to layer in on top. A copy of this is in the links below. I'm going to use a plain wall file to make sure the aged wallpaper is what I want before bringing it into the full model. The original new wallpaper was scaled at 2 foot by 2 foot. Since this aged wallpaper is three times the size, I'm going to scale it to six foot by six foot so the pattern size stays the same. If the aging repeat looks too regular on a large wall, you can add lines to the walls on the seams and shift the wallpaper up or down by one or two thirds, lining up the pattern but shifting the dirt. Once you're satisfied with the result, save the file and use it just as you would standard wallpaper. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.